what's going on youtube welcome to the first ever video on the channel uh you know the start of something special the start this is the start the the bottom and i want us to go to the top i mean we're gonna get there hopefully not even hopefully we will get there determination so just now my phone it can it kicked me out of photos or video or camera and I've recorded like a little bit of what I was talking about before and it just cut off and it just didn't save or anything. It didn't make me mad. It just like, why would it do that? It, 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 it was annoying, but, um, we're doing like a little mukbang, like get to know me. I'm eating Chick-fil-A. I'm doing a Chick-fil-A bowl that I saw on TikTok. Um, and I've been wanting to try it for a while now. I just never had the chance or, I mean, I've had the chance. I just, I've been procrastinating on it and just haven't been doing it. But a lot of people say that it's good. I really hope it is. The The guy, when I went, at, when I went to Chick-fil-A, he was like, he was like, uh, I don't know if I can give you a salad bowl. And I was just like, well, can you like check? He was like, oh, wait, I know what you're trying to do. And I was like, yeah, so can I get a salad bowl? And he was just like, oh, yeah, sure. And but then like when he asked the manager or whoever was behind him, the dude was just like, huh? He was like a salad bowl, like low key, Chick-fil-A. Mm, that's kind of good. Chick-fil-A, you should... Like, you guys are on social media, of course. You guys should charge people, like, maybe like a dollar for these bowls. For the, yeah, for the bowls to make this or whatever. Because, you know, make some more money. Now, what Chipotle, what, not Chipotle, what Chick-fil-A really needs to do, in case I said Chipotle, I feel like I did. I always get them mixed up because they're both start with C. But... Before, <clears throat> before, I think I said, like, one time, like, I think Chick-fil-A would make a lot of money if they had, like, a dollar menu. Because, like, like, I don't even know what the cheapest thing is. I think a drink is the cheapest thing at Chick-fil-A. Probably not even that. Not even a drink, maybe. I don't even know. I don't go to Chick-fil-A like that. Um, but yeah, let me, but the dude was like, yeah, he was like, I always wanted to try it. I was like, dude, you work here. Why don't you try it? Like, can you not get this stuff for free or like not free, but like pay a little bit? Cause it was only like $12 and I'm not going to lie. I should have got more nuggets, like a 12. I don't know if this was like an eight. I don't know. But, oh, my God, my hand's all up in my face on the camera. My bad, guys. Um, but, yeah, I got this. I've just been wanting to try it. Hopefully, it's good. Hopefully, it's not an L. Sorry, I'm throwing the stuff in the, in the bag. But, let's, enough about the Chick-fil-A. Let's, let's, let's talk about me. So, my name's Jamal, obviously. It sounds like, the way I just said that, sounds like I was in... Uh, rehabilitation which yeah but um I live in Maryland one of the most boring states I've ever been in in my life uh I'm 19 I live with my mom and my sister my sister's like my sister's 14 she just started high school so she's growing up on me my mom she it's always working she's always out uh my parents, they're not together anymore. They're divorced. But every other week, I switch between houses. And um, I go to my dad's house or my dad's girlfriend's house. And I stay there. Uh, I work. I work at a... I work at... I work overnight at uh, Giant Food. In case you guys don't know what that is. Some of y'all might. I mean, I hope, like, yeah. And I work overnight there. It's... 
at first, I thought it was going to be good for me. Or just good in general. But it's not. I, I'm so tired every day. And like me, I get home. And then I sleep for, for a while. And then after I sleep... I have all this energy, and I don't know what to do with it, so I'm just energized, doing, like, all this stuff, and I'm just like, bruh, like, what the heck, but then when it's time for me to go to sleep, I freaking can't, because I have energy, I don't understand why they put, why they put holes at the top of this, like, I don't know if you guys can see if the camera's getting it, but like, dude, I'm trying to, so like, now I gotta cover the holes up so they don't, so it doesn't like get everywhere and then shake it up. But, um, as I was saying, but it's just not it. Like, overnight, I don't know if any of you guys worked overnight, but it's, it's not no, it is boring. It's boring. It's tiring. It's it's just, it's okay at times. Sometimes it's not. It could be like, bro, like, what am I doing? Like, I'm not gonna lie. A few times I've I've just been like, okay, this this isn't it. Sorry if it's loud. A few times I've just been like, this isn't it. I need a new job. And I applied to places. I applied to there's a Royal Farms right by my house too. I applied there for like a day job because like all my friends, they're in school during the day. So like I'm always at home. So like if I'm at home and they're at school, it's just like I get no time to talk to them because like they're at school focusing and doing what they do, talking to their other like their friends at school. And then I'm there's just me just sitting here waiting for them to get out of school so I could talk to them. But then some of them. But, but then most of them are athletes and they do like football or cheer or they train for basketball. And I mean, it's like I go to all the games and stuff, all my uh, old high school games, and I go help out my coaches or well, my old coach. Um, he's a great guy. Um, he's through like my high school life. He's one of the people that really helped me out the most. My senior year, I couldn't play football because I didn't like make grades, but I thought I did. And like, instead of him like kicking me off the team, he was just like, listen, I want you to stay. So like, you can help us out because I know if you, if you're not doing something after school, you're just gonna be a mess and you're gonna be doing all this. And I want you to graduate. And I was like, yeah, I understand where you're coming from. And it was, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't bad what I did. I was just like a little like manager. Like I helped him out, kept him, kept him on the time, on his time. So we could go to the next thing that we needed to focus on for that week during the game. And it was fun, you know, uh, everybody called me coach mall. That was really fun. I had a, I had a whistle and everything. Some of the people, some people might know what I'm talking about. I could tell tell people to run and take off some people hated me but some people some people didn't and they were always like oh jamal's a rat da, 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 da. and i was like bro it's not my fault because like he had me i don't know if you guys know like in football you have to like wear like a girdle and a cup da, 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 da. he didn't make me do a cup check because he was just like if they don't have it on they don't have it on i'm not gonna make you do that but he made me do a girdle check on days that we only had to wear a girdle and shoulder pads and helmets. Sorry. Yeah. And I didn't like doing that. But he was like, if you don't do it, I'm going to make you run. And I didn't want to do that. So I was just like, oh, all right. So then I did a girdle check. And everybody's like, yo, Jamal's an L. Da, da, da. Oh, this is pretty good. Oh, yeah, this is good. 
Mmm. It's really good. Jeez. But he used to just make me do a girdle check and stuff, and I didn't like that like that. But, um, yeah, my job is just, yeah. I used to work at Old Navy, but then I kind of, I quit that job because it was just, like, a huge commitment because I moved. I used to live over by where that, where Old Navy is, but then I moved. To, I moved, like, farther away, so, like, I had to Uber to work, and, like, it wasn't really helping me, because it was just, like, me wasting money, because it was, like, I'm making money to go work, but then I'm spending all of it to get to work and get home, and it wasn't, like, good for me, I because I don't have my license yet. I have my permit, and I could get my, I was supposed to, my plan was, well, the plan I was trying to have was to get my license in October, and then I was going to get a new job, but now I have to wait, because, like, they didn't post enough drive times and stuff, like, you're, like, because you have to get drive times, and I didn't do those yet, so, like, they, like, put them late in October, and I was supposed to take my test in, like, two weeks, well, that's what I wanted to take my test, in like two weeks so I can get my license. But I have to wait till like November because all the rest of my drive times are late in October. And uh, yeah, it's, I didn't book the date yet, but it's gonna be sometime in October. That's that's what my plan is. Because, uh, I mean, not October, November, I'm tripping. Because November, it's like, It's like a semi-perfect time to get your license because, like, it's like a good time and a bad time because, um, it's a bad time because you're going, because, like, I, when I drive, when I get my license, I want to go see, like, my family I haven't seen in a while. Like, my cousin, I haven't seen him, like, in person Uh, I think I was going into my, I was going into my senior year. So that was like three years ago. It was the last time I saw him in person. And like, when I get my license, I want to go see him. My, my friend, my friend, uh, Timmy, my friend Timmy, uh, he lives in Virginia. And I, I got a ride from my other friend, Chelsea, because we always used to go down there. We go down there in the winter. Like, in December when he's home from college. Oh, that's another thing. All my friends are in college, too. I have friends in college, and I have friends in high school. But um, we go down there in the winter, and I want to drive down there by myself. So, like, yeah, because I feel like that'd just be fun. And then they'll be like, and, like, I'm always asking them, can they take me here and there? And, like, now I can feel like I can take them somewhere, you know? But um, there's that. And then... Uh, like Thanksgiving and all of that. That's like kind of like the good and bad part because like people are going places and they don't know how to drive or they're driving recklessly or people are coming home and they're just doing the same thing. Or when you get your license, you can get kind of distracted and it's just like you can get all like your like family members in your car and it'll just be a disaster. They're all like, talking real loud, blasting music, blah, blah, blah. Unless you're a good driver like me, then you won't get distracted, of course. But, um, yeah, let's, let's move on. Something else. Um, oh, one of the things that popped that somebody slid up on my Instagram, because I asked my Instagram for questions, was, uh, what, what made you start YouTube? I think it was my friend Keegan. Shout out to Keegan. Keegan's a, Keegan, shout out to Keegan. But, um, he said what made me want to start YouTube. Um, I, I've always been into YouTube for, like, the longest. Like, ever since I could remember. And, mm, 
And I've just always been like, hmm, I want to be a YouTuber. I just want to see, like, what the YouTuber life is like. Because, like, this is so good. A lot of people that are, like, YouTubers, some people are YouTube famous, some people are not. Some people are, aren't really known like that on YouTube. And then I was just like, I feel like I could be, I could be, like, that funny the funny guy that people watch during the day, late at night, and just like binge watch all my videos. And I was just, cause when I was in high school and I couldn't sleep, I that's what I would do. Ugh. That's what I would do. I'd stay up, scroll on YouTube, see somebody. Like, um, what's the YouTube? What's the Love Live, Love Live Serve, LOS? I I was up at, late at night. It was my senior year, my senior or junior year. And I was just on my phone on YouTube. I couldn't sleep. I came across one of their videos and I was like, bro, these guys are so funny. And I watched more and more. I was like, bro, these videos are so good. I was, like, dying. But then, you know, I heard footsteps. I had to act like I was asleep real quick. And I subscribed to them. And I've been subscribed to them ever since. And I watch, I watch a lot of their videos. And they're so funny. But they're actually one of the people, like, I wanted to start doing YouTube. And them, um, Flight Reacts. Flight Reacts is another reason look at curry man he's just he flight reacts is hilarious and he's literally so inspirational um and that's basically what wanted to get me into youtube um what's something else oh my favorite for some people who don't know this my favorite basketball player is lebron james of course he's the goat and if you don't think so, let's argue. We can we can argue. I, that's one of my favorite things to do. When I was in high school, all my friends, and we always just, what's going on, guys? So we're like jumping back into another video. I want to make this like this outro short short because it's just gonna kick me out. And it's not gonna save my video because I don't have any storage in my phone. But um. I'm going to edit this video, and we're going to post it today, hopefully, and then we're going to, tomorrow, we have a vlog, we're going to vlog our, our day tomorrow, because it's a football game in my old high school, I'm helping them out, and I might be doing something after, I might not, if not, then I'll vlog on Saturday, because I think my friend Timmy's coming, uh, coming over, well, not coming over my house, but he's coming, like, to Maryland, and we might do something, so that's that. Uh, I want to thank you guys very much for tuning into the video. Like, comment, subscribe, share to your friends, family, whatever. And let's on the road to 50 subscribers. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, see you guys soon. Peace.